It's right here, Ray. Don't move. It won't hurt you. Ah! The money-making Slimer character produced more than just slime in the first Ghostbusters. He left his mark on the stars and the creators of Ghostbusters 2, who took us behind the scenes of the sequel, where the new and improved slime came to life. We uh, really fell in love with the character on the first Ghostbusters. While we were filming him, he came to life for everybody on the set, and we loved him so much that uh, we all sort of fantasized about the sequel and Slimer coming back as a major character. After months of pre-production, the mechanical jaw of the Slimer is placed into foam head and painted a perfect Slimer green. The mini ghoul body is molded to fit the teenage actress who will play the Slimer, and the completed head is attached. Now the facial movements are controlled by off-screen technicians, and the actress controls the body. Everyone is choreographed by the director's instructions. That'd be a rough Slimer. Get it out of your system. But okay. Work it out. Do a proud Mary B. <laughs> Great. You ready? We're growing. <laughs> <laughs> the most crucial element, the slime, is applied and reapplied as this beastie gets a facial and makeup lesson from the special technicians from the slime lab. Lots of time and effort is spent just getting the gunk right. Oh, you love it. Terrific. Oh, wow. Pull the arms away, throw away from the body one at a time. Ah, oh, yeah. Now the other one. Ah. The scene is shot and combined with other special effects, and soon the Slimer will once again be loose to take a big bite out of the box office. And next weekend, right?